Thanks for joining us in the Teaching at Conestoga series. These videos should help with some of the most frequently asked questions people have when they start teaching at the college. The instructional plan requires you to take the information in the official course outline and use it to create a week-by-week -week flow for the delivery of your course for a particular semester. If you've been provided with an instructional plan from a previous semester, then you'll just be updating that to account for date changes, holidays, and your teaching preferences for the flow of the course. By the end of this video, you'll be able to find the instructional plan template on eConestoga and will be ready to fill in the different components. You'll find the links to log into several of the applications you'll use in your teaching on the Conestoga IT support page. You can access this at it.conestogac.on.ca. From there, connect to eConestoga where you will find your course shells. Click on the course you'd like to make the instructional plan for. Once you are on your course homepage, click on the Faculty Support tab near the top of the page. Clicking on the Faculty Support link brings you to a page with several tools available to you. Today, we'll focus on the Instructional Plan template. You can also print out the Instructional Plan guidelines as a reference. Click on the link to download the Instructional Plan template. If you would like instructions on how to upload the Instructional Plan template into your course, you can also download those from the same area. If you are having difficulty, get in touch with eConestoga for support. At the bottom of the faculty support page is the contact info for eConestoga. Let's break down how to fill in the different sections. In the course information section, enter your course code and semester at the very top. Then the school you are teaching in. Enter in your program name, program code, and the name of your course and course code. Next, add your name and email as well as your office number and office hours if you have them. If you don't, it's okay to say your office hours are by appointment only. The Program Specific Notes section is where you link to your program handbook so students can see the policies specific to their program. You can find your program handbook by Googling a list of Conestoga programs, clicking on the link to your program, and then scrolling down the page until you see the link for the program handbook. Clicking on this will open up the link to your program handbook, which has important information for you and your students to know. Coming back to the instructional plan, now you fill in course-specific notes. These are some of the things students need to know to be successful in your class. Here, you discuss general expectations. For example, you can mention attendance, if students are expected to read before class, what the minimum passing grade is, or if a supplemental exam is possible. This is also where you list what's needed for each class. Tell them if they have to have things like tools, calculators, steel-toed shoes, or other materials they have to have ready. The evaluation summary lists and describes each assessment, how many there are throughout the course, and what they're worth. Add a few more details here about the assessments, so students can get a sense of what the assignments will be. Now you get to the good stuff the course schedule. This is the plan that shapes your course week by week. List the key concepts for each class. This tells the students the topics you're covering that day and will be a good review later for exams. Work closely with the concepts discussed in your course outline here. A bit of detail is helpful here. For example, instead of just writing inflammation, describe it as causes and remedies for inflammation. This will help students know what resources to look for and how to study. Required preparation is the work you're expecting students to do before class. If you want them to read something, bring something to class, or watch a video, this is where you write that. Finally, you list any evaluations happening that week. If there are none, just write no evaluation. All evaluations must have a date listed on the instructional plan. Pop quizzes are against Conestoga policy. A few more tips. Make sure you consult Conestoga's academic dates to take into account any statutory holidays. Also, 
don't schedule any evaluations or special events, such as field trips or guest speakers, in weeks that the KPIs, key performance indicators, are scheduled. And remember, during Student Success Week in Week 8, students don't attend class and you can't schedule evaluations that week. It's a time for you and the students to get rested and refreshed for the rest of the term. If you'd like help putting the instructional plan together from a teaching perspective, you can contact any of Conestoga's teaching and learning consultants. You will need to decide how you will deliver the course outcomes, making choices such as big idea to small, starting slow and speeding up, easy concepts to challenging ones, etc. Reach out for help if you need it. If you need help uploading your instructional plan to your course shell, get in touch with eConestoga. Thank you for teaching at Conestoga. 